You annotated, you marked your passages, you connected and you thought about it, and you recorded your thoughts to answer the central question, which is, what are some milestones on the path to growing up? My name is Nando, I'm in eighth grade and I go to Uni Junior High School in Cicero, Illinois. So you create a schedule while you read independently. You can understand your goals and deadlines, make a plan for what you do each day. I think that discussing strategies did help me stay on track because it kind of gave you a basis of what you should and should not be doing. So it was a little more structured and I actually liked it. Practice what you've learned. Use uh, first read and close read strategies to deepen your understanding. My name is Ulysses, uh, I'm in eighth grade. I go to Unity Junior High School in Cicero. Uh, I will come up with my own strategies by uh, reading ahead or by just looking through the passages cl carefully so I would know exactly what I would need. I did refer back to the strategies because sometimes I forgot to annotate on some paragraphs, so I just got to remember to keep good notes, and that helped me a lot. For the strategies, we did use a graphic organizer. It was like a T-chart. A uh, graphic organizer is like uh, on one side we'll write down like text evidence and just passages from the book. And on the other side, we'll write down what they meant, if they had meaning, or our own opinions about them. Are you guys got theme? <laughs> no, it's just one sentence. What are, you have one all together? Yeah, one. Or, well, that's okay. What you want? What you're gonna share with the class? Which one? Who's sharing? I can do mine. When I presented the class, I felt that the information was valuable because uh, it helped other students get a better idea of what they would have put, or maybe it would have also given them better ideas of how to make their passages and written answers better. Things. Things, events, people. And last group. Uh, we wrote down that in childhood and poetry, the author was stressing that the quality of being nice to others, that are all known is a beautiful thing, and to keep it as you grow up because it proves to be beneficial for you and everyone else. I think the information I shared was valuable because I was trying my best to figure out what the author was trying to tell in a story, and I thought I did it good, but uh, so I thought it was beneficial. Learning that humanity can be tied together in many ways made the author open his eyes and change his whole perspective on the world because he learned that not everything is cold even in the darkest times because there's always a light. I found that when other people shared their answers in the group, it was beneficial for me because it showed me that I was on track because everyone had basically the same answers. Okay, so what do you think ultimately your theme is going to be here? What have you learned about growing up from this text? Oh, well, kind of to develop the quality of being nice to everyone, even if they're complete strangers or not. Kind of just not to judge them for how they look or that, but just try to be friendly with them. All right, you guys can all pat yourselves on the back. You are done for the day. Now you're all pat you on the back. <laughs> <laughs>